Welcome back to my series on having a narc-free new year. And this is a series where I read from my book, Healing from Narcissistic Abuse, Recover from Empathy Deficient Relationships and Emotionally Unavailable People. If you want the information about this book, links will be down below. And if you want to get more on this series, then watch to the very end and you can click on through to those videos. With that said, let's get on with it. Page 112, Taking Your Power Back. When you realize this, then you're forced to take your power back. And if you're really honest with yourself, as I had to be with myself, you'll have to admit that there were times when you felt completely trapped and powerless. In my relationships, I thought I had no choice but to go along with them and their programs. Sometimes the narcissist will orchestrate very devious schemes behind the scenes to kind of force your hand, to force you to go along with them. Say, for example, starting the business they wanted when they wanted because they quit their job or got themselves fired. Or maybe they forced you into buying the car that they wanted when they wanted because that's when they chose, that's what they chose to do with the money without your consent. These kind of scenarios create crises that communicate an implied message like, oh, gee, isn't this convenient that we ended up having to do what I wanted to do? in the first place that you would have never agreed to, but conveniently now all of these out of control circumstances have developed where we just have to do what I want anyway. If we look back at those scenarios where we felt like we were powerless and trapped, we have to admit that those were the times when we actually gave our power away. When we supported them and their needs and desires reluctantly instead of our own by walking away. That's when we gave our power away and allowed them to take it away. There's a quote in this book that reads, self-confidence gives you the freedom to make mistakes and cope with failure without feeling that your world has come to an end or that you're a worthless person. Now, trust me, I know that these are extreme situations. I've seen some very dark days where in order to take your power back, you have to maybe, uh, live out of your car or a homeless shelter. Yeah, for some people, unfortunately, it can get that extreme because that's how much power this person has gotten over you. And believe me, I know these circumstances can get very dark and deep. I'm not making light of this at all. Still, it's when we change our behavior and shift the power inward instead of outward that we start asking ourselves, what do I need? What am I going to do to get it? And what are my limits and where do I draw the line? We start thinking more of ourselves and less of them. Remember, these people will calculate. If they have to orchestrate behind the scenes in order to bring their dreams and desires into reality, against all odds and opposition, they most certainly will do it. So how can you use your power in the same way? Admit it they wouldn't have been so powerful without you. How much more powerful would you have been if someone empowered you as much as you empowered them? This power shift requires you to have the courage to break free of the learned helplessness and hopelessness of feeling like you have to fix it and you have to fix them. But wait a minute, there's nothing you can ever do to fix it, right? I have been saying that all along. If you're interested in purchasing this book, Healing from Narcissistic Abuse, Recover from Empathy Deficient Relationships and Emotionally Unavailable People, remember it is on Kindle ebook version. You can get it on audiobook at Audible, and you can also get it in print at Amazon.com. And for those of you who like to sit back and watch and listen, well, I've got the video version over at my Etsy shop. Links for all of these are going to be found down below. And if you want to watch the next video available on narcissism, click here. Thank you all for your support.